Blessing yourself, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the show. I am Mariah Afolabi Brown, as always. I never do this alone. I have the ladies with me. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So our audience came up with this express yourself slogan. Okay, I'm feeling let's let's see how we well, can work we're it. Feeling it. Yeah. We're, we're feeling it. We're feeling you, we're yeah. feeling you. Thank you so Yo! much. <laughs> Thank you so much. So do we have any first timers here? Let's let the clergy say hello. Thank you so much, sir, for thank coming. You, sir. We appreciate you. Thank you, sir. Gentlemen, thank you very much for being here. We really appreciate you. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> okay. YK, how, how are you doing? doing? I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm YK, I don't understand. Wait, there's a, there's a scarf and there's a neck piece. What's that? Well, yeah, no, this, this uh, scarf is to hide the cleavage. Oh, I see the point. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, Before I, you all face me, like, <laughs> why are you showing your cleavage? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 there's no cleavage there. You're fine. There's something for you in the papers because of that. So it's good that you put it there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, though? <laughs> Anything happening, YK? Oh, no, 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 no. Nothing yeah. happening, nothing. I love your makeup, though. It's very yeah. subtle. Thank you. Oh, Justina, she always does beautiful makeup yeah, for me. I'm always happy when I see her. Yeah, very mm. nice makeup. No, not too loud. Not too loud. It's just, just right. Good to see you. Yeah. Nima. Ma. What's happening? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm just worried. The tables, yeah, table of tables. Table I have more you tables to break. Please take it easy because uh, we've not recovered from the last one you broke. So <laughs> please. No, no, don't let them shoot us. But <laughs> if they shoot me because of you, yeah. I'll haunt you. So just take it easy. We have so what happened? Before now. How are you doing? I'm good. Mm. I'm good. I got phone calls all Very through Monday. Mm. Mm. Feedback and a few people that were honest that passed there confirmed that I was saying the truth and they let it die. But my phone just kept ringing. So this morning, I would like to beg them at last ma to please help us because, you know, they are constructing a Papa Osho, the expressway. It would be nice if they were controlling traffic, which is what the agency is set up to do, so that those of us sitting for hours in traffic will not be there wondering what is happening ahead of us. If we see an official, at least it will give you some confidence in the work mm. that is ongoing. That issue of traffic is a major deal. I'm sure you guys have experienced traffic. Some mm -hmm. people say four hours just to get from Mowe to maybe K2 is like four hours. Others are complaining that it's just, it's, just, it's almost as if there's no official to actually navigate. You know, for the, someone the like me, I used to leave a quarter to um, seven, um, six, sorry, in the mornings. And I would get here 6.30, quarter to seven. And I started being quarter to seven. And today, after seven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Imagine. Yeah. Because it's getting worse. Over an hour. But Any experience here? Yeah. 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 Traffic, it's crazy. We're going to find a day to talk about traffic because it's, it's really, it's not, it's not, it's not easy. Mm. Mariam, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Um, I wanted to ask um, Nima what I did to Nima. She's been giving me the cold shoulder recently. Mm -hmm. I mean, I even went shopping one, some days back and the person, I, I was picking up an out, outfit. The person was like, are you sure Nima is going to approve? Of this outfit, so you know, if our bodies, so I don't even know. Is your guilty conscience? I haven't heard from conscience her conscience in a while. I don't know. She's just <laughs> giving me. You're a funny person. Don't mind this girl. You didn't ask her. You know, <laughs> yeah. She wants to set me up. Yes, because Strong. people are watching us, hmm. so they yeah. have yeah. asked me to ask you. Uh, what okay. the problem I have to move. We don't have any more time for this banter. We have to thank again, Cream Slices for their weekly cake they sent to us. Thank you so much. But I think the. I think the owner of Cream Slices is here today. So you meet her and we'll say thank you to her uh, personally. She, mm -hmm. I think she's coming, she's gonna be here. Well, I was told she would be here, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so we also have Kadri Bonvita in the, in the building. They gave us some beverages mm -hmm. earlier. Thank you so much to Kadri. <laughs> All right, we're gonna quick break. When we come back, we'll go through the front pages of the news. People stay with us, we'll be right back. Right, start with the nation this morning. Buhari orders probe of one trillion at constituency, constituency projects. How to reform tax system by Mad Icon and others. Ibado Obas to surrender crowns. Gazette was set aside. Investors to get better deals, says Oyetola. And Bato Pomago's job, a setup, says lobbyists. Okay, let's start with this Obas crown. What's that about? Mm. Who has that story? So following a, an out-of-court settlement by 
um, of the dispute between the Obas and the present um, of Oba of Ibadan, is it? The Oba of Ibadan, the Alafi of Oyo, they've, they've settled that the Obas will have to settle. Olubadon. The Olubadon, sorry. Yes. So they'll have to leave their crown and, you know, go back to, start, to the old order before Ajimobi did that reform that, you know, wow. upgraded them. So that's what the out of court mm. settlement has reached. So that is settled now. So there's no more go back, back and forth. No, that's, it's that's an out of court yeah, settlement. Okay. Somebody can appeal it. Um, I just wanted to comment mm. on this because this is it stems from colonization mm -hmm. because the um, colonial people that came they now lorded it over the traditional rulers, and that system has still followed with governors being more powerful than the traditional rulers. Mm. So we better check our culture. Okay, I'll try and go back. No, no, there's something that I missed in the nation. Yeah. TV radio stations to pay five million hate speech fine. Yeah, so the, yeah, yeah, the federal government is considering raising fines for um, broadcast code violations. So it used to be five hundred thousand. They are raising it to. F they are considering raising it to five million, and it has to do with um, breaches as relating to hate speeches, inciting comments, and indecency. Mm. So if you show your cleavage, oh. probably we'll be giving I five million. Me, oh. 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 I'm mean, a poor person. <laughs> <laughs> so the, it, uh, they had uh, the minister for information and culture um, met with the committee that's sitting down to come up with the reforms for NBC, oh. and he's saying that this is not to gag us, but yeah, also yeah, they just keep make that. sure that okay. <laughs> you know okay. we do it well. well. Let's Nima will report. be arrested for hate speech. <laughs> so I will be arrested for cleavage. I'm so good. good. You? I'm fine. Okay. Too much makeup. We are loyal by the citizens. <laughs> Moving on to the punch. Buhari attacks National Assembly. Little to show for the one trillion naira allocations in 10 years as president. We didn't get such amounts, says Reps. Senate ah. was quiet about mm. this. Stop lamentation, mm -hmm. Sarah tells Buhari. And picture here of the highlights of ICPC's project tracking report. Very interesting report, I would say. Man allegedly shoots wife, lover dead in Edo. Fire raises OAU's morgue. 12 corpses burnt. Uh, Canterbury Archbishop replies syrup over Shores detention. Governorship polls, politicians sold uniforms for fake cops, says IG. I'm not afraid of death, says Obasanjo. Right. APC using the, uh, Jonathan to legitimize fraud, says Dixon. Rep someone Aquabio NDDC over alleged illegal spending. Okay, well, let's talk about the, um, the fire that reached the morgue in um, OAU. There was so, 102. Now, uh, you can say the story, but I just want to say. It is a double, the double, dead body dead, get accident. In fact, mm. the dead oh, yeah. body get accident mm -hmm. thing. Because fire, um, power surge caused fire mm. close to the area where the morgue is at the university teaching hospital in Ibado. And of course, 12 bodies in the mm. morgue were burnt by the fire. The VC has set up a three man committee to find out the cause and what mm. happened exactly. And I just want to know what happens to people who have. Sort of re lost yes, the yes, now. That's so, what happens because this is trauma. Do you compensate them in a way. Or or they they can't compensate. I don't know how they compensate. If this was in the Western world yes. now, they will sue yes. and they will get money because that is a mm -hmm. uh, double death. Yes. Mm -hmm. double you have trauma. died two times. Double, double trauma. trauma. So, uh, so, what happened with the 102 dead bodies in the morgue, of that 102, 12 were burnt with the oh. power surge. Okay, I'm really interested in this ICPC's project tracker report because. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I was going to take another paper, but let me just try to run through it. Or oh, should we take a human interest story? Okay. The man that yeah, shot his wife. Yeah. Yeah, though, his wife's yes. mother is very cut and dried. Yeah. He, his wife left him for somebody else. He threatened the, man. the lover, and then the lover got shot. Mm. Nobody knows if he was. He wasn't there. Mm. But the police have arrested him because of that threat. So we really just need to watch Be what careful. we say. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because I take it down. because he said I take it down. <laughs> yeah, Good yeah. Down. The police Suddenly. have arrested him for. Okay, so this um, this issue of constitution project, mm. the president is saying that over ten years, um, mm. they've spent one trillion naira on allocations mm -hmm. given to our representatives to actually um, do projects oh, yes. within their constituencies, mm -hmm. and it's not nothing. They have nothing to show for that. Mm -hmm. That's on one hand. ICPC now did a, a different. Um, report, which they call the tracking project tracking report, mm -hmm. and they found hmm. that ministries, um, ministries MDAs, um, mm -hmm. agencies, agencies have actually padded that budget padding okay. mm -hmm. to up to the 18 billion naira, mm -hmm. and some of these, many of them were from um, hospitals 
and universities. Mm -hmm. yes. Now you now understand why they were totally against yes. the IPPIS, mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. what the president says. Yes, well, has that everybody, every agency mm -hmm. must sign up to that uh, payment, payment system. system. That's how they're going to pay their salaries. Fact, yes. Many of them ob uh, objected to it. Now we're seeing why, because many of them had padded their personnel um, 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 costs Cost, yes. up to the tone of 18 billion. So, and they actually named the universities. Mm -hmm. University of Benin, mm -hmm. University of... There's university quite a teaching hospital in Benin. Yes, okay. University of Benin. There are a few of them I want to mm -hmm. take, but you know what, let's, we'll take it so another time. The, the, on the constituency project yes. thing is why communities like where I live will be buying their own transformers mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. this is what they give them money for. And they are, we don't even know who our reps and uh, senators are. And I like that the ICPC do a thorough yeah. investigation. Some people have been in the in the um, Senate red chambers for more than ten years, going and coming and coming again, representing constituencies without um, uh, nothing to show. I would love to know who the representative uh, of my Alagbole is. Let me ah, give you a few of the name of the school so you know. University of Benin Teaching Hospital, one point one billion naira. Federal Medical Center, Bayelsa, nine hundred and nineteen, nine hundred and fifteen billion. Uh, sorry, nine hundred fifteen million. Namde Azikwe University, 907 million. Okay. University of Jos, University College Hospital, Ibadan. Usman Danfodio University, University of Ibadan. Hey, hmm. our dear University of Ibadan. Jeez, anyway, Sha. They are working on this. The, the investigation is still ongoing. Are you sure? <laughs> anyway, let's move on. To Vanguard. PDP woman leader burned to death, home raised. Terrible story. Osho Economic Summit, Canada based mining firm, pays 0.1 billion sign on fee. Senate goes after hospitals issuing fake medical reports. Border closure, ex Ghanaian President Mahama blast federal government says institutional failure responsible for smuggling. Number of persons in de detention, Neil Chen White, is alarming, says Malami. We have received death threats, says uh, Obershore, says DSS. Boyo made his mark in our industry, says Man. And how people were instigated to fight me in Edo. Says Oshomali. Okay, let's talk about this woman that was yeah, the burnt woman alive. Leader, yes, Mrs. go ahead, YK. Acheju Abu, she, she was in her house about 2 p.m. These people came, they were shouting G, GYB, meaning GYB oh, no, yeah, 4 plus 4. Uh, and then they put patrol around mm -hmm. her house. They all surrounded the house so she couldn't escape. And then they set fire, set fire to the house. And the woman, people heard her screaming, and they, they, nobody could come to her rescue because they wouldn't allow anybody in. They were shooting yeah, they at the mm. house, so even the woman could not attempt escaping. Mm. People could not help mm. her, and they could, people could hear her screaming, which was and. I want to ask, can you really, can you picture that graphic uh, thing like you just said? Horrible. Now, this is happening in Nigeria, and somebody will go to bed and sleep and know that that would happen. That, that happened on your behalf. Or so somebody happened be on because your on your on your watch. Let, also. let me quickly excuse me. It's on your behalf because many of them yeah, are saying because they didn't, they didn't they for of the, because of the, the, the party. No, they, they, they were shouting GYB four plus four. That means they were shouting yeah. for yes. the government. So That's number happened. one. Yes. Now number two, the um, independent um, observers mm -hmm. have said that APC PDP they are. The, their um, bid for the election was mad with um, oh, violence God, and yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. So, honorably, our president should remove him, them. <laughs> they should disqualify <laughs> both of them oh, and let the next. The no, I'm, I'm serious. Yes. That's you know, they're, they're independent as a state. Yes. And the people of Kogi allowed this happen. Yes. They sat down and allowed this corruption, and some people partook in it. What is painful is that their uh, actions have led to the death. Of a of, woman, mm, and people watch such death, gruesome, 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 murder, gruesome murder of this yeah. woman. It, what who is sad. probably a wife and let, mother? Let, let me attach this story quickly to what the IG was saying. You know, I was questioning that truck, um, he locks fans of the Nigerian police and people in uniform were the ones who were jacked ballot. We saw the videos, and he was saying that no, yeah, they had information that politicians were making uniforms for their thugs. And that you know they had, uh, as such, as such had put a tag they do on. About it. Hold on a minute. That they, they, they did. You. They now created tag for their own 66,000 plus policemen who were right. going to man right. uh, secure the elections. Yeah. And they say that these people overpowered them. Imagine I don't that. understand. 66,000 policemen. And they, they've only been able like to arrest 11 yeah. people. Mm. So it's, the, the whole story around it just breaks my heart because I, I think that this justice for this woman's family can might never come. I, 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 what the governor says he set up a probe, he's rejected this, he condemns it. These are the normal narratives. Yeah. Just, somebody no. just talking. He, he should honorably step down. That is where I was going to. I think this, someone, this, this person I, does I, I not cannot, have that kind I cannot of, uh, accept not this kind of China. murder 
on my behalf. Or if he would not honorably do it, the party should do something about it. Maybe ask him to step down. He's won the an president. election. The, the woman from SDP, you remember there was a video of her last week talking about her oh, house, her, her, her building being burned. Nobody did anything about yeah. it. And this is what I'm saying, that th this, the box stops in Aso Rock it's, right it's now. It's about us, so why can't? Why can't? Right now, I, I wish the all those, cannot I wish all those home video um, concepts can just come alive, where that woman's spirit is actually fighting. Where she actually goes and go and fight. In fact, you know how it happens in Hollywood movies, where the spirits will wake up and just go and, go and uh, attack all those that are attacked her. Honestly, that is my prayer, that this woman actually fights those people. Because the truth is that you, sh you, sh you shouldn't be able to go to bed knowing that somebody died, burned alive, action. murdered. Because of, because of a party the situation, of, all of the elections. Night, when people are sleeping, people are the day. I don't understand, though. It's pathetic and it's sad. This kind of thing, no police so, to save so her. Why, would, why wouldn't she want to go to Canada? I mean, you still want to leave no, the country where they come and burn you know all the life. Sometimes, you don't want to leave this country. Sometimes it's even too easy for us to blame one governor or somebody. There were many people there. He, you he know, was in his office. I, I'm wondering the mentality that we have that one person is so much right. more powerful than all of us. When we arm you know, talks we are right now. before elections and we arm talks to win elections, what we get is what we see. Uh, uh, there will be more crimes happening in Kogi State and arms that you they, can't control. They, they you mobilize this guy with 10 billion now. Mm. Two know, days before, like this guy was mobilized. We have to go. We have to go. I mean, it's it, it's pathetic. No we can't finish. We can't. We okay. run out of time. But this okay. this woman's story in enough mm. is something. I think I think we need to really go further than just talking about it. Somebody must take responsibility for that woman's death, and we must ensure and follow up oh, that something happens. Happened. It's unfortunate that this is Nigeria. This is just rhetoric. Nothing's gonna happen. That's uh, the truth. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, we have to go on the break. That's all we can take. When we come back, we'll talk about other hot, hot topics. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Express yourself, nice. So before we move on, I, uh, I was I was informed that um, the reason why, and it's not a justification. The reason why the according to the thugs had set the woman ablaze was because according to them there was an there was an altercation between an APC and a PDP gentleman, and the PDP guy had killed an APC man, I believe, and then it was a retaliation on that. It doesn't justify the fact that it was murdered, but that was what that was with the sequence of what happened. So mm -hmm. she didn't make it look as if some thugs just went straight to the woman's house to burn her alive, that it was a retaliation act. Regardless, it's still yes, a gruesome yes, murder. Yes. Moving on. So a mother of a secondary school student was spotted in a viral video fighting the security guards of her daughter's school. According to reports, the woman allegedly engaged the security or guards in a fight for turning back her daughter who had fixed lashes to school. It was alleged that the woman who manhandled those, uh, they, they actually manhandled those who didn't support it. Now, so you can join the conversation on 070-8066-8014. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect, please hashtag yourviewTVC so we can read your tweets. Now, what are your thoughts? Let me start with Nima. Why not? Nima, <laughs> what are your thoughts on this? Oh, the way I see it, um, the reason of any upright human being in the society starts from home. And this woman must accept that she's failed. I'm sure this is not a conventional, uh, westernized uh, secondary school like we have. We have some schools, some on Old Ojoro, that allow students to come with their hands uh, called. Um, face made up and all sorts of things for the name of trying to copy what is Western, they allow. But if QC that I know is the same QC and it's like the school that I went, this form of dressing, makeup and all that is not allowed. The least that could happen was that that morning she came in late for taking off makeup. The mom should have insisted from home, is taking off so that we avoid this back and forth and confrontation happen. Hey, no, the mom is a mom. She, in fact, she should go meet all the way like a brush. But she cannot have it on her daughter 
and force her daughter on society without conforming. Well, let us be fair. We don't know her, the exactly. woman's story because the truth mm -hmm. is that it's easy for us to judge based on that video and say, oh, the woman was wrong. Mm -hmm. But we don't know what transpired between that gay man, the, the security guard, and no, the no, mother. No, it was no, I've not addressed what happened I know you haven't. I know you haven't. I know. I but it's also, I'd like us to also consider the possibilities yeah. because some, some security guards can actually be very rude. Yes, you might, you might be wrong. You might be right in I then pointing out that this is what your daughter is doing is wrong. Mm -hmm. But there's also a way you do it. Let me come to Maram, your thoughts. Yes, so that that's exactly my thought. And um, there are parts of the video also that didn't show, which showed like almost like a mob action. People were screaming at the woman and shouting at her. And there was a particular lady, her voice was so loud. Get away from here. Your child will never come back to this school. And that's my problem with... It's sort of like a Nigerian thing. Mm -hmm. We never take a situation and make it a teachable moment for right. people. We'd rather bully people into doing what is expected of them. I'm not saying this woman is right. I'm not saying that a child should come to school with makeup on and her hair done. But I'm saying that there's a way to teach that woman that will teach that child, that will teach many other people. Yes. Why must we cancel everything and throw the baby with bath? Why do we always do that? We did that to some girls that dress in a long um, skirt and went to NYSE. And we saw adult women screaming at them and making fun of them. Well, we would have sat them down to speak with them. I'm not saying that bad things don't happen, or people don't do wrong things. But how do we handle so it's it for the, the better? the approach that's you're my, saying, right? My, what, what, yes. what you're saying. It's, if there was a way you could have spoken to the woman nicely and respectfully, yes. Madam, unfortunately, your child can't come into the school because of X, Y, Z reason. It's possible that security guard was probably rude. Maybe that's why she... Because for a woman to actually hold his shirt... But it's also cannot, possible. Right that I believe that this video would not have been made if that conversation had been listened or added to. I want to believe that the security would have said to the girl, not addressing her mother necessarily, when a student is resuming in the school that I went, they talk to you. If you're not conforming, they don't talk to your mother. It's in front of your mother that you will kneel to the gate and you'll be beaten for not conforming. So, so no, this is what, no, this is what I'm explaining to you. This child is under that institution. It's, there are two separate things. So maybe they had that conversation with the mother and they were, they were resisted. Okay, because I'll... I believe a video was made as a result of the resistance. I, I have a People question. just don't yes, start yeah, fighting no. now. I have a question. Was she blind when they were walking to school or in the car <laughs> to school? True. No, because you, obviously she took her daughter to school. Yeah. <laughs> Did she not see the eye? No, let's just say, let's just say, my uh, own, why, let's just what, say she was what, under what, Excuse me, who is she going to do the eye for? It's, a, it's an all-girls school. Who is she? Is it the teacher she's going to do the eye for? Absolutely. Is it the gate man she's doing the eye for? Because I cannot understand that eye okay. to school. Okay. Right. Okay. Not even university. Mm -hmm. Secondary school. Secondary school. Right. Okay. And the girl could not okay. Okay. more than Point me. Can I just a small answer? A teenager. Just, see, I understand. The question right now, we, we are assuming that this is a mother that knows, that knows better. Let's say we're dealing with a mother that doesn't know better. Imagine what we would have taught that woman at, at, that, you know, at the school, instead of shouting her down and making her feel rebellious. So actually, there, there are, there are some you. people actually that do not think there's anything wrong. They have their children from very, from very young age experimenting with all mm. sorts of things. Mm. So they come out thinking, oh, you know some people, they even think, ah, now nah, we have money, we are showing off. Do you understand? Mm. But they don't understand. So values have changed. We need to bring people to a place. We need to understand that not everybody has our background, not everybody can, has our values. Can I just ask you this or, question? Yes. Those gates men, yeah. do you think they have that's intelligence. Yes, yeah, so that's the, point. that's the point. So we had a person who they claim is an authority from the school screaming at this woman. Did I she sound like somebody that has sense? So my, 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 is it the woman with the daughter? Or the, the no, the one shouting. Oh, no, but then we just come back to this call. Does that sound like a person? Okay, yeah, so, so what I expected was that in the face of authority, that, that thing, that altercation, or whatever happened, should have happened if it happened in an office, the school office. Madam, come, your child, come. We are at an office, a principal's office or yeah. someone's office, and we're having this conversation. Do you know it would be better? A lot of lessons would have been learned. Mm. Sometimes learning moments, like you mentioned, is not for the person that is the victim but for the people watching, bystanders. So it may be they had a conversation with her and she resisted. If she had been able to get into school, other children would follow. No, the school, no, I'm just saying that the school is bigger than one student. Mm. So if they had made an example, which I believe they were trying to make of her, is what, they, you know, other students will not dare this to do what she's tried. Example, Nima, I would like us to really change mm -hmm. that thinking. You see, you said something earlier that when you, back in school, they'll make you kneel down to the gate and all yes, that. No. That was how we solved problems. We're trying to change that thinking. 
You don't, you, you don't force people to do those kind of um, um, punishments to mm -hmm. prove a point. We have conversations. It's because of those kind of violent approaches to things that is causing somebody to go and burn up a woman to death mm -hmm. in our house. We need to begin to solve problems where we have conversations. No. Okay, you're right. Maybe it's possible they have tried to have that conversation. Mm -hmm. But if she had an authority to come forward and say, Madam, can you please follow me to the office? Let's have this conversation. Then you close. So you don't have all these bystanders. Everybody approaching. Because, see, we, we, we always make this thing look like a thuggery situation no, no, at all no, points. No, no, no. Discipline is discipline. As much as I agree, yeah. it's important to have a conversation under a decent environment. Mm -hmm. It's also a, 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 very possible that they tried to have that conversation and she refused to let it happen. Okay. Let me take Do this call from Adeshola. So, Dr. Adeshola, are you there, please? Good morning, ladies. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I'm a female. I've been trying to get through to you guys for so long. Mm -hmm. So this is the first time I'm getting to. Welcome to the show. Yes, I am. Now, um, the reason I'm calling, I just saw that video. You know, everyone on that table has a point. Nima, I agree with you, that woman has failed for allowing her child wear eyelashes to school. That's her story. If I, I don't know what sort of children we're raising these days because I wouldn't dare wear that when I was in the federal government college. Now, I have a problem with the way security guys address people in this country. You know, it's, um, it's appalling the way some of these people at the gate talk to people. I'm not saying the woman was right for attacking them back, don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. but we need to train the security guys on how to correct people. Yes. If, you have to, if you have to tell someone they've done something wrong, do it politely. I think organizations should start to fire their security guards for not you know, communicating properly to people. Yeah. So that they will learn, yeah. Thank, thank you so much for heart. bringing that point, Doctor, because I'd like to use an example. My school, for example, I'm, I'm setting my, uh, a program in Pan Atlantic University. From the security guard at the front gate till you enter, they are properly dressed. They speak with you politely. Even you, everyone, you greet them, good morning, sir, because they look like someone you should be greeting, good morning, sir. The way they talk to you with, professional, with, that, with that professional approach. And they are calm. They ask questions. Whenever they need you to do something, they'll explain to you. Even you, you feel like you respect them. So, but a lot of security guards, they are not properly trained. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't agree. So I, have I believe that security, <laughs> they have agencies that now yes. recruit security people and they do a lot of training for them. I want to believe, looking at this video, I don't know how you're seeing it, that these were, these were trained security agents. I, this I, security I, agent did not lift a finger, even when he was being pushed around by right. this woman. He didn't do anything. People, someone was trying to get the woman's hands off him. This was a trained security agent, because an average Nigerian man would have given her a slap back. You slap me, I slap you back. But this man was trying to resist it. I, I don't see, I don't know how you say And this is QC. This is one of the established uh, institutions, educational institutions that have a standard. Um, I believe. Strongly that this woman was being told what to do, she resisted it, and it happened like that. I was in secondary school once. We had a Russian Nigerian in my school back in GS123. So they asked all of us in junior secondary to have our air court. And this lady, of course, she's, you know, she's more whatever than uh, African, so the air was all the way here. So they exempted her. You know what the rest of girls did? They resumed school the next day with their hair still on. Yeah. With those of us who, 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 me, quickly, my parents will not even waste time, confirm, cut the hair. So I got to school the next day. I saw some six girls with their hair on. They were officers' children. And they said to the school, eh, Ceci did not cut her hair. Why should I cut mine? And that's what you see. So if Ceci had confirmed from day one, nobody else has an excuse. She's the only foreigner that, then in school. She had to leave school, she, but she cut her hair before she left. So sometimes the moment is what you deal with, not the one single person. You see, go, this talk, talking about cutting hair will go into another argument. I because I definitely, no, I guess with an example uh, I definitely don't agree with you making I don't agree as girls well. cut their hair yeah. in school. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because my secondary school, that's what they make them do. And I think it's really, really wrong. Mm -hmm. They're girls. Let them weave their hair. It's African styles. Let them do African styles with their hair. Why are you making them cut like hair. boys? Mm -hmm. But um, I was going to say, so I think that corporal punishment, the kind of co corporal punishment we, is, uh, we do put on our kids here yeah, is really bad. Because when I was in school, if they catch you eating chewing gum ah. in the classroom, <laughs> no matter how long your hair is, they will look for the longest part. That's when they will stick the chewing gum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's when they will stick the chewing gum on your head. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow you will come back with... <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I, no okay, yes. I just want to us to also look at this like uh, I, I would like us to address uh, bullying in, in Nigeria as a whole as Nigerians we normally do this um, the way we handle things is the way it's, it's as if we have to bully people and sometimes we see bullying like what children do to each other but adults do it as well and we do it so in so many ways mm. and it has to stop because whether we like it or not, it has gotten into like the different fabrics of our society. Mm. We meet in churches, we meet in schools, everywhere. Yes. And because of that, we are creating monsters. We are giving birth to children who are learning it and they are doing it and they'll do it even worse. And you made that right. perfect example. For them, yeah. someone killed go someone. Break. Instead yeah, of going to the okay, authorities, I have to, I have to go on a break. And I think um, I just got information that the Honorable Commissioner for Education would like to say a few things. I'm going to try to call her now. Stay with us, we'll be uh, right back. And this tweet. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Right. Good to have you back. So I'm going to take a quick tweet first before we talk to the uh, caller. Yes, go ahead. Yes, this is from Tata J. She says, the girl was about to leave when the security guard started using derogatory words like prostitute and touching and dragging her. Hmm. Then, okay. she, then she goes oh. on to say, no pervert will right. put their hands okay, on Okay, I'm now child. told that the Honorary Commissioner oh. for Education of Lagos State is online. Good morning, madam. Are you there? Yes, I am. Good morning. Good morning. I'm told you wanted to say a few things concerning this issue. Go ahead, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just wanted to comment on what happened. I, I I think I agree with almost every speaker there that this was wrong. I, it was against the school, uh, school rules, and school rules should not be broken. But I think the management of it was so brutal that I, I, I can't get over it. The, the, it should not have deteriorated to that situation. Mm. I have been the principal of the school. They should just have returned because I don't think the security guards at the gate should have made that call as him. to whether that girl should enter the school or not. Mm. They should have referred her immediately to the vice principal of the exactly. Where the thing will be handled with some decorum and dignity. The girl, the girl, you see what you have done for that girl is incalculable. She has appeared on social media all over the world. Mm -hmm. Is it fair to that girl? And, mm. and, and don't forget, this would affect her in a lot of ways. Yes. So I don't like what the mother did either. But I know that to stem that kind of thing, or to save up that kind of thing, right. we don't even allow it to deteriorate at all. We just exactly. keep that. So, thank you very much, madam. Can you go and see the first part, the right first part? Exactly. So that immediately there's this mm. fighting in front of the gate is undignified. Mm. And it's for far as we the of I'm the mother of the my daughter is very unhappy about it. Now, when did it come to a stage where people are shouting and fighting exactly. and, 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 and getting into a brutal, a very brutal and primitive way of, right. uh, of addressing right. a very simple mm. issue? Thank, thank you so much, madam. Thank, thank you very much. much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, ma'am. So that, that obviously, she, the, the security guard shouldn't have actually take, made that call. Mm -hmm. referred her immediately to like the what this girl says, this, like this girl was there. Yes. This girl that is tweeting, because if they had used derogatory, if you use derogatory words on my child, I, mean, I will face you. I mean, if that, if that tweet is correct, then it explains everything. Mm. And because you cannot... In the video, if you remember in the video, they were saying, show her face, show her face. Then mm. they were dragging the she child. She was covering to, her face. She was trying to cover her face and they were mm. trying to video her face. I mean, that is wrong. Yeah. Can I quickly, yeah, I, I, there's this incident, I remember, my daughter is five years old, but even before then, she would take Mark and she would um, color her nails, yes. and I would warn her, and sometimes I would, you know, smack her fingers. But there was one time she did, and I took her to school with the marker because I knew the teacher was going to call her and talk to her, and I told the teacher, and the teacher says, we don't allow this in school. She never does that. You know, so sometimes, imagine, mm. you know we, you know how teenage girls can be? Yeah, yeah. Imagine yeah. she says, mommy, and then the mommy had taken her and said, okay, maybe somebody would have so reprimanded her. We can run okay, so this, this yes. one concerns me. I mean, Al Hassan says, very shameful that similar thing happened to my friend years ago while we were serving at CDS Sojo, that's my secondary school. Okay. School should not condone this type of bad attitude. Either you abide by the rules or you take your child to another okay. Okay, let's go on a very quick break. When we come back, we'll discuss sexual abuse. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So, in our efforts to continually encourage victims of sexual abuse to speak out so as to curb the menace in our society, we have a sexually abused survivor. She'll be sharing with us her story and the trauma she went through psychologically and even physically. Mm. Welcome with us, Deborah Fumi Mupapa. Welcome to the show. Welcome. So you can call us, you can call us on 070 8066 You can also tweet to us at TVC. Can I please hashtag your TVC so we can read your tweets? All right, so we'll be talking about sexual abuse, young people uh, being coward not to speak, not to talk about it. And uh, when we see survivors like you, it's important we give you the platform to speak, to share. So people who hear your story can know that the most important thing is to share. One Absolutely. problem shared is the problem is half, is half solved. Mm -hmm. So tell us your own experience. What happened exactly and at what age? Yes, actually from, let me start from, I was rejected by my parents okay. hmm. at the age of two years. And I never know who my mom is. So I was like, I grew up with my grandmother. So I know my grandmother as my mom until seven years. Okay. So my mother used to come, which I never knew that she was my mom. Okay. So I thought she's like like auntie or you know, like I'm the junior sister to her. So auntie, my girl, I'm nervous, I'm doing know, maybe because I'm okay, relax. I'm you're in mom, Nigeria. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. where this something happened yeah, to me. Right, so, right. so whenever I'm coming to Nigeria, I feel like, oh my God, I'm coming to this place again. You know, right. I feel that's something. It's okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank so just you. Look, listen, you're with women. Yeah. And there are mothers here Welcome. and fathers here, and we love you, and we <laughs> want to share okay. your experience with you. So fine. just relax. Thank it's you okay. So much. Go ahead. Ah, we are, you are going to make all of us start crying. <laughs> <laughs> we are crying. <laughs> but go ahead. Yes. So, so yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I never know my mother, like she is my mother, until yeah. when my grandmother died. Okay. So when the woman died, I was expecting like, I never know, you know, I'm, I'm a child, so yeah. I don't know that. So I just see family, of, of course, before she died, she was sick for several months and she was operated um, four times. Right. So I was with her at home and she couldn't go to hospital anymore. I right. think they couldn't find the solution for her, for her illness. So I was with her, she just told me one day that she, oh, she was talking. Mm. You know, as a child, I was just listening. As a grandma. Yeah, as a grandma, she was just talking. And there's one auntie with her, she was like, oh, Fumi, you are my third generation, and they don't allow me to stay. But I want you to know that, do go do as much as you can. Mm. She just hold me, she hold me mm. so tight that right. Fumi, you know, I was like, okay. Right. You know, I was just listening. But those what was inside of me, right. you know, I never know it was there. So at what point did your mom get into your life? Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm trying to, so after the, the burial of my mom, I mean, of my grandma. Sorry, there's a party. Haven't yes, I wanted to explain that side. Yeah. Okay. So she was, she heard me. She was like, for me, I want you to help as much as you can. I want you, um, you're my third generation. She was just holding me and vomit all those words out. So I was just, okay. And she gave me some money and said, go outside, go and give to somebody. So I was, I went outside, I was praying as a child. And later on, she, she, she gave up. I never knew. She just let us sleep. Then we slept together. After two days, I was there, there with her. It's I never knew. Yeah, because she she can't stand up. So I thought I thought she just there. Mm -hmm. Until two days, the so you were with her body for two days before body, someone yeah. came. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Before someone came and <laughs> I just noticed that they wrapped her yeah. because they I mean the senior sister was so mostly. That event itself was traumatic for you. Yes, I was yes. just looking at you know like a movie. Okay, so because of time, we have to now move to the okay. part where you move okay. with your mom, yes. Actually, after that, my mother couldn't take me after the burial. Yes. So I have to go to one family that I didn't even know about them. So I was treated as a slave, all the stuff. Let me just abbreviate it. Then after a couple of years, I was 12 years, so I have to know who my mother is. So I was like, she came to the house and told, they told me that that's my mom. I was, I was happy. I was like, okay, but you know, there was no, no feeling no there. Feeling. So I just there and couple of months I was abused by my stepfather. Okay. Wow. Was your mother Did your aware? mother know? Was your mother aware? She was, she was, she was aware she knew. of it. Yeah. So your mother knew your wow. stepfather was abusing you yeah. and she didn't say anything about it. There was a time that she was, she even told me that I should accept that again because she, I mean, I was about to throw her away from the house. Hmm. And I was like, I was crying. Like, what age were you? 
this oh, point. I was that? 12 years plus that yes. time. And it was so, it was painful for me. I was looking like, why am I here? Mm. Why am I living in this place? What is my purpose? Why am I in this place? Why, yeah. who's my family? Who, that, am I alone? Because the, 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 the stepfather tried to, trying to make my sibling, the juniors for my, okay. yeah, so against me, in a way that I was feeling like, why am I just only here on this earth? How old were they, your I siblings? Much younger. More mostly. younger than mine. So after that, I start, they, they took me away from the house. Like they drove me away from the house. Like, no, they still drove you again? Yeah. Well, yeah, after he was sexually abusing you, yes. he still drove you. Yeah. So, what, so what, what then became of you afterwards? I was sleeping around. From so one after that experience, mm -hmm. you started sleeping around. Yeah. Were you homeless? Or sleeping around, homeless. Is, she means she was homeless, not was sleeping homeless. around sexually. Uh, yeah. Oh, thank you for clarifying. I was homeless. I was... So you are homeless for how many years, would you say? And then Almost what one year. For a year. Yes, and then who then took you in? My friend. She's here with me also. Okay, so how old were you at the time? I was very young. So I was like... Between 13 years plus, I was yeah, so her family to, So her family took uh, you there's in? There's no family. No, I mean, your friend that took you in, yeah. her family was aware yeah. that uh, you the, were Her mother was aware of it. Okay, so she took mm. care of you yeah. until... Mm. I like, see, because I want to. the reason why we're having this conversation, mm. because a lot of people go through this experience where a child is being molested right in your, in, under your nose, mm. and you yes. have no idea. Yeah. But in this situation, the mother was aware. Yeah. But because of this pressure of, I have to stay in my husband's oh, house, yes. hmm. I'd rather this girl be thrown out yeah. than lose my husband. That's, that's the situation that yeah, happened in your own. Yeah. Now, I, I like, because I, I want Nigerians to understand how you healed. At what point did you realize this was a problem where, okay, you're abused and it was affecting your own social life? Mm. Yeah. Tell us about that experience. It was not easy for me. Uh, I, that's when I started thinking about my grandma. She told me, God is in your heart. I will, like, I will be looking at the sky, is it really, Somebody is looking at me. I was even afraid that is it really somebody God is there? I don't even think so. You know, I was those things was just moving my like if I if I could experience this mm. and sex becomes something that it's not it's like taboo for me. Mm. I reached that you level. Until now? I'm fine. Have you gone through counseling to yeah, help a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, can I just ask where where all this happened? In Lagos in, in Quiet State, Ilori. 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 Okay. Let me come to Nima for a second because you're a lawyer. Mm. I mean, I we've seen Busola Dakulo come X amount of years after, talked about, oh, XYZ raped me. Mm. She's saying now that she was sexually abused mm -hmm. by her stepfather. Can she prove it? Can Lagos, Lagos, they, I mean, the laws of our land today, mm. can they protect somebody who was abused Criminally, many years? Yes. Criminally, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. They can base it on circumstantial evidence. If her mother is willing to be a witness now, about what she saw happen, and she's willing to stake her out because she herself is culpable. It can happen criminally, but if it's a civil matter, it's a different matter entirely, which is what happened in Busola's case. Right. So you're going now to try to get a right that you know you are a trauma trauma that you suffered enforced civilly. The court might say, okay, it's, exp it's limited, and you know it's, it's, it's affected by the limitation, and it has it's, it's expired. You can you can you cannot establish it, or you're wasting the time of the court based on that the kind of. Preliminary yeah. objection that worked for mm -hmm. against uh, Busola that could right, can right. work against her. Okay, so I, yeah, go ahead, Waikiki. Yeah, I wanted to ask: Is your mother still alive? She is. Yes. Are you in contact with her? Are it's not, not really easy for me. I tried. I came home 2008. Where's home? Nigeria. No, she's no longer. <laughs> oh, so where do you live? I live in Finland. Okay, in Finland. Yeah, I came home 2008, and I'm trying to like okay. Everybody used to call the parent, family. I don't have anybody. I feel like I'm just alone on the earth, you know, mm. so. Is she still married to this man? Yeah. Oh, the man, are your siblings aware of what you... Yeah. Even one of my junior brother have to leave the, I mean, she left the, I mean, he left, left the family the because of me, okay. that he can't, he can't take this. Can you tell us, I mean, I know it's a bit graphic, I don't want yeah. to be careful with the words we use. Yeah. Yeah. Could you tell us exactly what he did to you? Sexually, like, make sex with me. Have sex 12. with you? Yeah. yeah. At age of 12? Yeah. So have you seen this man since then? I saw him in 2008. Okay, and, um, and how, how did he face you? How did he face you? He was, even, he was not even afraid. He was even, I was poisoned in 2008 okay, when I came to Come on, let's, let's try to <sighs> simmer this information. Let's yeah, go to a quick break. I was poisoned in When we come back, we we'll talk about yeah. the poison. You were poisoned? We'll talk about the poison when we yeah. come back. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.
Welcome back to Your View. Right. Um, this is obviously difficult for you because obviously you've been very teary. And, um, and I really applaud you for taking that bold step of coming to the show. Um, the reason why it's important we have this conversation with Fumi is because when people say they are living with the trauma of sexual abuse, people don't understand. And so when you get to face the perpetrator all the time, you get to see the person, you see them on TV preaching, you see them on the yeah. road, you see them you're with your mother, you see, you see them everywhere and you feel as if justice will not serve. A woman lives with that trauma forever. And that's why you're here. Yeah. Because we, it's important people understand what happened. So you, we're talking about the poison. Who poisoned you? I, uh, it's my stepfather to, I think they're all not together. Because your mom, my, yeah, they're your all mom not and your together. stepfather possibly poisoned yeah. you. Because my junior brother, the one I said he left yeah. home, is the one like, he came from Abuja like, okay, I see, I want to unite the family. I just want, at least I should have somebody I'm calling yeah. back home. Like, I want to see my family as well. My mom is alive, so I need to, I need to see them. Right. So I invite my dad also, my own real dad, because later on, before I travel, I know, I know who my dad was. Yeah. So I invited them, and my junior, bro my junior sister came with the food to the hotel, and my brother, junior brother was running like, Auntie, please don't eat. I said, I had the food already. Mm. Then after 30 minutes, I was throwing mm. out some green, then after the blood, all the stuff. So my husband had to call me, like I told my husband, you have to change the ticket, I have to fly to, to Finland back. Yeah. And I was in hospital for two weeks. Wow. wow. So your husband, how did you meet your husband? Because one, yeah. one of the things, it's always difficult for people that have been mm -hmm. through this yeah. to get married. Yeah. Even your, the, you, the, the relationship is always mm -hmm. difficult and strange. Could you tell us how it was meeting your husband and how were you able to walk through this with him? It was so hard because I, <laughs> it was really hard for, for him because I, Sex becomes something like I don't really, there's no satisfaction of it. So you feel like, okay, I just, I'm a woman, I want to have a baby, and that's all. Okay, so you mean intimacy was no. just about having a child? No. And Does he it... knows that, because I told him what I went through. Oh. You, you told your husband yeah. up front? Yeah. Is he Nigerian? No. All oh, right. Yeah. So, okay, also I would like to, so you have kids, how yeah. many children? I have six kids. So six how, babies! <laughs> I wanted to have my own family. Oh, my Lord! So it's because because it's because you because I celebrated you. You created your own family. Oh, wow. My husband is 18 years. Wow. Your husband, I think you should just do 11. <laughs> the ball team. Might as well. <laughs> I really want to have family. I really want to have, like, yeah. So we are like friends. Yeah. yeah. So I really want somebody. Like, yeah. not just, you know, Finland, we are, everybody, are, we have, like, there's no family. Yeah. So you may not even know your neighbor who's your neighbor. I, is, so. I, I, I wanted to speak with, yeah. um, and I, thought, I think um, we'll try to see if we can get some lawyers to tell us, because thank God Nima is a lawyer. Can she, okay, you said that she can get justice. Mm -hmm. But what of that trauma? The fact that this still, she's still very teary. Obviously, yeah. it has affected her and it's still affecting her till today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, the fact that her mother is alive, yeah. the stepfather that did the uh, committed is alive, yeah. and they seem to be okay. Yeah. You see, those things that happen in home videos, it's not yeah. true. You think that something they'll, maybe they, they'll go mad or something? No. They, they, never, they never go mad. Mm -hmm. They are still living, they're happy. And they did this damage well, to you. Well, you don't know that they're happy. But at mm -hmm. least they are alive, Waikiki. Yeah, but you don't know that they're happy. Those kind of people are saying they're happy. Okay, so they, they may not be happy. They may not be happy. Okay. But we hope that they are not happy. How can we get her to that point, Nima, where she is able to reconcile her emotions and then. I, I, I strongly wish that um, Tokwe or Biajulu, the NLP experts, are here. <laughs> because really, what you need is beyond me. I, sometimes when I deal with some cases in my firm, I refer to counseling because. Even I cannot understand mm -hmm. what the person is going through and how they deal with it. So it's sad. I would like to know whether, how you went, because you said you had to go to counseling several yeah. times. Can you take us through the experience of how you went and what stages of healing you experienced after the therapy? Actually, the first time I, 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 the first time I was able to speak out was, I would say, is one of the solutions for me that I felt because every time I, I'm alone, I just think like, okay, why am I here at the first place? Why, you know, all those messages, all those words, all those, it's like film, it's always coming. And you can't avoid it, you can't take it away, even though you want to. And I become somebody like, if you are shouting or if you are, if you are talking about sexual abuse, I feel like, okay, yeah, I will just my, 
but I'm dying inside of me. Was your stepfather okay. verbally abuse, abusive to, or was just the sexual abuse? Was it's he sexual, no. always shouting and it do. Talking, it, it used, uh, I mean, he used to do that as well. And physical as well. Yeah, physical as so, well. So how did therapy happen? On okay, the, I, I visited one psychologist woman. She was asking me, like, Deborah, just tell me everything, everything you have know about yourself. In no, 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 in Finland. In Finland. That's your pains, your experience. Then I was just talking. But the main thing is, I, I always say that it's not, you, it can help, but the damage is there, right. no matter what. The scar so is talking there. talking about it can help. Yeah, but, it's you know. always there. The only thing is just until you decide to just move on yourself. Mm, right. Because you can talk with somebody one million times. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Let me take a few comments from our audience. Good morning. Yes, go ahead, sir. Good morning. I'm Lekon. For me, uh, she gave it to you, but she's not your mother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just know that. And from what I, from, from what I saw, you've not been healed. Mm. Because when you remember, mm -hmm. it's you still feel pain. Right. So your family now are your children and your husband. Mm. So. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Ask, can someone ever get healed from something like this? It's not because so it, easy. Yeah. It's Does not something. Does anybody actually move on completely from traumatic experience? You, you, you like started this. a woman's rights uh, uh, um, uh, um, organization. Yeah. yeah. That is to help the young girls yeah. who are in, in this that. predicament. Now, tell us more about that. It actually, it started from my own, my own background, and I feel like okay. I want to help as much as I can. And I started from the country I don't even know <laughs> about, from Congo. So I was going there because there's a lot of women that I, like they went through abuse, all the stuff. So I was there helping them. Later on I was like, oh, I, I should go home as well in Nigeria. And I came from Nigeria, let me also start from there. So I started with a couple of women here, yeah, which we are still working on it. But I'm doing that because of what, where I, I mean, where I came from, my own background. Mm -hmm. and. It's helping me a lot of that, of me, I mean, me empowering other women mm -hmm. and preventing. Because when you, when you are able to prevent that, it's good than when it happened. Mm. Because when it's happened, it's, it's not really easy. Like somebody like, oh, I'm feel I'm real of it totally. It's not, yeah, you know, I do that. talk when I'm talking or when I have opportunity to, to give a speech somewhere. I would, I would say, I mean, sometimes I may not even tear up, like cry, but Whenever I come here, it's still there. When you ever you go to the Nigeria. south, yeah. Yes. She enter Nigeria. Yes. Yeah. If, I do right. Let me take one coming from yeah. my audience. I come to you, Mariam. Hello, Madam. Go ahead, please. Um, I want to thank God for your life. Thank you. And I know that you have a very brighter future. That's why God has sustained you. For yeah. your mom, please, I want you in a, in a way, in, on your own, as a human, please forgive her. But I know yeah. she herself will be very guilty. Mm -hmm. And for your stepfather, Wherever they are, God will bring them out for you. They will, they will look for you Amen. and they will ask for your forgiveness. Forgive your mom. I know God has made her the one that will bring you to this world. But it's such a pity that grandma did not tell you everything mm. before she gave up. Mm. But be it as it may, I pray that God will heal you. Thank you very much. So, but forgiveness is great. Thank you very much. That's a great point. Forgiveness is great. But it's never that easy. It's not easy. And also, as much as Nigeria, we can talk about forgiveness, but justice must be served. That's the problem. We, we, let's not sugarcoat that point of justice. And that's why people like you, um, the other people that have said they've been raped, we need to stand behind them for them to get justice. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you this so question? You ever, okay. Or can I ask? How do you feel about justice being served? Do you still feel you need justice to be served, or mm. have you forgiven them and moved on? Or have you ever sought? I, I try because I, I, when I look at myself, what God have done for me today, that's why I, I try to came. I came back 2008, like okay, let me just look for solution, like to have family, like I should have somebody like I can call home, mm. and. Okay, she's my mom, she's alive, I want to see her, I want, you know, when your friends are calling their family, you want to feel like, okay, my yes, mom also. Mom. So I have that feeling, but it doesn't work. I, be, I believe that you're still traumatized by grandma's loss, mm. in so the you, sense that mm -hmm. after her passing, you never had family. So till date, presently as we speak, it seems to me you're still searching, which is why you're trying to no, grow your... No, she has a family now, she has children. Yeah. She has no, children. She's, still, she's still feeling family, that. Like kind of, it's still not the same. Yeah. It's not the same. Let me take this call from Victor, now come to you. Good morning, sir, are you there? Hello. Good morning, sir. Go ahead, please. 
Um, please, I want to comment on that woman. Nobody should ask her to do anything else because already now God has helped her. If you agree with me, even many of us who the mother, the father trained and suffer and do this, we never succeed like this woman. Yeah. The, I have had one of your uh, panelists there say, forgive your, your mother. What, what else is he holding for? Everything God wants to give him, she has it all already. Mm. She should now find a way to meet her, her family, her father, her mother, and say, you are my person. Who else will he have? Will he have Papa Sojo as his uh, father? Will he have my own mother as his, uh, her own mother? That person is her own mother. That's my point. Thank you very much, sir. So we have tweets. Richie like Council says, I wish the law can still take its course on the perpetrators of sexually abusing the poor and parental negligence on the part of the mother since they are still all alive and also preventing them from extending their unlawful acts of sexual abuse to other girl children. Billy Kiss says, it's horrible that what this woman has been through. To think she has subjected, she was subjected to sexual abuse under the watch of her mother is more heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. That woman should be arrested for child abuse after several years of abandonment. Obo Naifuma says, crying, please help her. Oh my God, I can't bear this, it's too much. She can't watch the show okay, anymore. Okay, so let, the, the, the yeah. gentleman that called, I come to you, Ike, said that, this is your, that God has blessed you, yeah. you know, you should be happy and, and, <laughs> and you should forgive. But you see, that's, where, that's why these that things keep recurring. Mm. We all say, yeah, okay, God has blessed you, your life is in the hands of God, mm. you're okay, just move on. If we keep doing that, no, justice, when justice is not served, mm. more people will feel like, you know what, they, they can yeah. get away with this. Mm. So we must begin to make scapegoats Absolutely. of people who do this to women. Mm -hmm. Do you want justice? Of course. You do? Mm -hmm. Have you ever sought? Uh, because I'm not living here, and I've just I left them. Like, OK. okay. I'm OK. And they then. live in Lagos or Quara? In Quara. In Quara. Mm. Mm. So if you have an opportunity to be able to take this to, through the courts, yes. would you do it? Because it will, it will help other people to yeah. avoid doing such of a thing right. to young girls. Can I do something I've never done on this set before? I want to hug okay. you. <laughs> Thank you so much, YK. It's very sad. Let me take this call. Christine, are you there? Yes, I am. Please go ahead. Hello, good morning. Morning. I'd like to comment on um, the lady, Ms. Deborah, Mrs. I'd like to really tell her to let the stepfather and the mother make a victim of her. I mean, besides, even though she's moved on, God has helped her, which is a good thing. Everybody knows God to be that sovereign and supreme. But you shouldn't let them look into your face, you know? I'm making a mess of you. You don't even know who they have done that to behind your back. I think you should be like relax. Maybe this year, next year, two years time, looking to bringing them to justice. This is wrong. This is a child they abused mm. and the messed up the mentality. Mm. The fact that the world got fixed for you, God did that. But you can't let it get away. You don't right. say because an armed brother didn't steal right. from you. Is now someone who is dangerous. Mm. To Thank you so point. much. Thank you so much, Christy. You got the entire mm. studio crying. I mean, oh. I mean, this is. I think we're crying on Twitter. Terry, well. Terry um, episode we had in a very long time. Let's take a few tweets, please. Okay, so Oluchi says this is really sad to watch. Mm. Imagine her mom making the sacrificial lamb to save the shame of a marriage. She's a strong woman. God bless her. Talking about you, um, Bibi uh, says, says, what if, what if the court says she didn't have a concrete evidence? and dismiss the case again. Mm. Um, Alex says, I feel so ashamed of some government policies. Perpetrators of sexual offenses are given jail terms, and safe government is proposing death sentences for fake news offenders. Honestly, government must come with a decisive and stringent penalty for those who sexually abuse See, children. Nima, can, I ask, can I ask Nima this question? Okay. Uh, lie detector tests, are they um, in Nigeria? In Nigeria. No, no. Well, so you can't advanced. even use a lie detector? They're not advanced to that point. They're not admissible it's in not court. Advanced to that. Uh, now, it's, it's important that we also paint the picture properly because when you hear an adult 
talk about an abuse that happened 10 years, mm -hmm. 10 years 20 years ago, you just think, ah, oh, she's all right. But mm -hmm. I would like you to picture yeah. her as a 12-year-old yeah. child mm -hmm. that was molested, that was have abused. That you have children that age. Mm -hmm. Just imagine that 12-year-old child undergoing what she went through mm -hmm. and then having to go through and be that. Alone. Yeah. Be Not alone. Be alone. Nobody to, 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 to talk to. So, I, so I, I hate to drill this back on because obviously you can't stop crying. But um, let me let Brandon jump in here before we then move yeah, on. Yeah, I just wanted to say you've used your pain to do something good. Yeah. You're mm -hmm. helping women across the world. And you said something which is you also help prevent it. So what are the things that you look out for? And maybe you can teach us so we can help prevent it for other people Fantastic. as well. Uh, uh, we have this platform that we, we wanted to create with the team in Nigeria as well. The way by we need to go to school, different schools, and discuss with them by teaching them how to, when, you know, like when guys is trying to talk to you in a different ways, then you have to avoid it. And, you know, sometimes, like me, I have experience, I remember when I was young, somebody just, a man just put me on, that, on his laps and he was just holding me tight. I, I was not understanding what the guy was doing that time, but I know it now, you know, when you grow yeah. up, you know, oh, this, this man have done such stupid things right. with me before. So that's the thing that the young children... Small uh, signs. Yeah, teach them this the kind of signs. Yeah. 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 The signs. Mm -hmm. Because it will reach that level when the girl child is going to the guy and to the man. I, I mean, sometimes you can just use that opportunity when they... they, yeah. they mm -hmm. So, so um, are you um, starting that group in Nigeria as well? And we have, we what have, have you done? We Tell have, us more about okay, it. Okay, we have land that... We, we bought land that we wanted to have the shelter and the also... It shows us to help yeah. women. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So, so what, we've not started building though. We just got quite the land. We we they're putting sand. All okay. Stuff. Yeah. So that so once once it's ready, let us know so we can talk about it. So yeah. the idea is that when a young lady or anybody, even a boy is abused, mm -hmm. they can come Please. to the shelter yeah. 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 somewhere because as a haven, yeah. like a haven to yeah. to stay at it until you can they can stabilize. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I think it's also important. They can stabilize. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think it's also important that we stress that boy children are oh, abused so, as well. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. You know, because we always talk about the girl child, girl child, and I'm not trying to diminish the importance of the girl child, no, no, but the boy children point. too. They, yeah. In this culture that we are in yeah. here, yeah. get abused. And, you know, it's shocking to me yeah. when I hear it. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, we have much. to wrap up, but I want to say thank you so much, thank Deborah, you. Thank for you. sharing your story with thank us. You. Uh, we only hope that you find true healing mm. and, and closure with this um, trauma, and, 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 I, and I regard to your six babies, your six yes. children. <laughs> I love to your six children. We we'll love to meet them at some point, you know? And let them give you joy. Yeah. Just continue yeah. to see them, and just mm -hmm. make them, let them make you happy. Yeah. That's all we can take on the show today. Once again, we'd like to thank Cream Slices for their cake, and Cadbury Bonvita for um, the beverages they give to our audience. Have a lovely day, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>